and I really like this combination. But yeah, oh my god, like that was... Oh, but we're there. We're done! Hi everybody, my name is Sai and I'm the maker behind Puddle Knits Project Bags and Accessories. Um, I thought I'd uh, take you with me on this vlog, so the mini vlog, um, as I go through drafting a knitting needle case pattern, but basically making ne knitting needle cases. So uh, I own a set of Lique needles, uh, the wooden interchangeable needles, and they're really good. I love them. And they come in this case, which is really functional. Um, I was really happy about that. but. Uh, the problem with that, the only problem rather with that is that it's a bit bulky to carry around so if I want to go somewhere with my needles it does take up a lot of space. So I thought I'd look online at some of the um, needle cases and I found some really good designs uh, but they can be a bit pricey um, and then I remembered I own a sewing machine <laughs> so I thought I'd have a crack at it. Um, so I've made two drafts uh, till now and I'm happy with what I have um, but there's just one thing that I want to add and hopefully that should give me what I need from a needle case so I'll show you what I've done till now so this is the first one that I made and this was from scraps of um, like the project like some of the project bags I made um, so I thought it would be a good starting point I've just tied it with a cord and basically it opens up like that so it has all individual pockets for the interchangeable needles for each size and some uh, like larger pockets for fixed circulars uh, so you can put fixed circulars in there and a notions pouch as well so you can put stitch markers that sort of stuff it comes with a flap so that the needles don't go anywhere and just folds like that onto itself and then it's secure with a cord. The changes I wanted to do with the first one is basically in, um, sort of increase the distance between the, the uh, knitting needle uh, sort of slots and the flap because if you have sort of longer needles then it becomes a bit wonky. Uh, that's the main thing I wanted to change and also, I did do this one with elastic in it. Um, I just wanted to see if one without elastic can be done and if it's really needed because then there's one less sort of plasticky thing <laughs> that I have to use. I think that's the only plasticky thing in this one. So, yeah, I wanted to have another go and see what I can improve. So this is the one that I'm actually storing my needles in right now. This is the second draft, so obviously I added uh, a wooden button and an elastic so I, instead of a cord that you tie and untie every time this is just much easier and it sort of looks nicer so you open it like that and the principle is basically the same and it just opens up like that so I have all my needles in there so each of them again have their own individual slots for each size and there's that slot for fixed circulars some of them are missing because I'm using them for some many projects and in, uh, I have my logo here and here I have just this little like sort of a bias binding strip that holds you can hang stitch markers from I thought that was really convenient I saw this on one of the designs that I really liked it um, yeah and then again a notions pouch here um, and that's it very simple I didn't want to overcomplicate it because um, the main thing I wanted out of it is a compact, functional design. So that's my second draft. Now, what I want to change, and the next one, first of all, is um, add bias binding all around. So bias binding, it'll just give it a bit more structure, I think. I don't think it should affect the overall functionality of it. Um, but I think it'll just give it, yeah, just a bit more structure and it'll look neater, um, just nicer. So I thought I'd add a bias binding and <laughs> there's one thing that I might be uh, a bit ambitious in attempting is that I want to 
sort of add a pocket here so basically a zip that goes all around and then it, this whole thing just becomes a pocket which you then fold down like that um, it I don't know I mean I thought I'd just try it you know um, why not <laughs> just something that just means extra storage I personally don't know what I would store in it because I don't own one of those you know like gauge mark no not gauge marker gauge basically the thing you use to measure gauge I don't know what it's called sorry but yeah you can store that or um, you know some more notions I don't know I thought it would just be like another storage um, and I just want to attempt it I don't know if I'm going to include it in the final one but I thought like I would be too curious not to attempt it so <laughs> I thought I would give that a go. So those are the only two things I want to change. Otherwise, all the needles, um, sort of slots, and everything else really works. Um, everything has its own place, and I think I really like this design. So I'm going to do the need the the zip thing in on like a draft piece. So with calico uh, that I have, I don't want to use actual material that I'm going to use for the final case for a trial because. The one that I have is really nice and I don't want to waste it. Um, the final one though, once I figure out exactly what I want the pattern to be, I'm going to be making the case out of this fabric. It's linen cotton. Um, it's, a, it's like this really nice dusty pink. It's a bit darker in real life than it's showing on camera right now. But it's, um, it has all these like weird faces on it. I really love this, this fabric. And then the lining would be this sort of like beige, like off-white rather. It's the same color as the... Oh. Oops. It's the same color as this. Um, and I really like this combination. I think it'll be really... Yeah, I think it'll be really good. So that's the one I'm going to make the final one into. So yeah, first I'm going to attempt a draft one with the zip. Um, and if that doesn't work, then I know exactly what I'm looking for and we can get started on the final one. Alright, um, let's go on to the dropped one. update you on the layout so I've got two of the slots for the needles and the notion pouch and then this is the um, the zipper pouch that'll go here um, and then that way there's enough space here that you can have the needles up to sort of this point and then there's still space to actually fold the case so this will fold almost on itself like all the way down and then and then it'll be sealed. So this should work in principle, in theory, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Update you soon. Thank you. 
gave out so um, around the time when I finished the lining um, so I thought instead of waiting for it to charge and then continuing um, I'll continue the, with this because it's just a draft and uh, while it's charging I'll continue I'll finish it and then I'll show you so I have finished it um, I wouldn't say I'm a hundred percent happy um, there are a few things that I'm not too sure about um, again like this is calico so it also doesn't like it's not the best material to make this type of thing out of but I'll walk you through it so this is the final object it's it's a good size it's a bit bigger than than the one that I'm using right now um, but obviously it has more storage um, so this is the thing and then you open That's how it looks. So those are the needles down there and then you have the zip pocket with currently I've put a measuring tape in there. Um, but yeah, zip pocket and and then the same things as my other case. So your needles and you know your stitch marker hanky thing pockets and then the notion pouch at the flap that's where you put your stuff in so all right so pretty happy with what I've got here you know I've got all the pouches and this actually I like but honestly I have no idea what to put in it like I've put measuring tape here but then I can just easily put it here or even here like what do I put in it? And I can't really put anything that's, you know, tall like that because it has it still has to be folded. Um, but what I'm really happy about is the bias tape. Like it, I have to add this to the 
next one because it just makes such a big difference it adds structure um, but yeah it adds structure it gives such a finished look and i found this oops i'm just gonna put these needles away i just found this really nice a uh, really good tutorial i'll link it down below uh about like how to buy a spine uh, and then get the corners really nice um, it's a really uh, informative tutorial um, so yeah definitely doing that in the next version this I'm not too sure about um, I will think about it overnight because I'm not gonna make the final one today because I am pretty sewed out I don't know if that's a thing but yeah so I do I, I do like what I've got here you know this it worked out is exactly how I thought it would um, and the other thing is that I would like to sort of curve these corners because when you close it, it does peek out a bit. Um, where does it go? That's another thing, like you have to adjust the things in the pouch so that you can fold it properly. So it's just, I don't know if it's too much hassle for something that it's not a lot of, probably not get a lot of views out. But yeah, this is so when you fold it, you can see this flap peeking through, which I'm not a big fan of. So I'll probably curve it a little bit and then that'll solve that problem. But all I'm gonna do now is just have like put some, I have some heat transfer paper, so I'm just gonna put some patterns on here and just make this into a functioning pouch. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at and I'm just going to do some like design stuff on it and I'll see you tomorrow with the final piece. Bye. I'm back. Um, it's a bit late in the day. It's the next day. Uh, we had a little bit of an eventful day. We went to the beach today after quite a few months. It's been a while because of the lockdown in Melbourne. But it was really nice weather today and we decided to take a little trip. It was great. I took my knitting with me. <laughs> I'll put um, a video in here somewhere. It was really beautiful. Um, I didn't go in the water, but probably will as the weather gets warmer. Really looking forward to that. But yeah, it was just good to get away and take in some nature. Um, and then we did some errands, groceries, that sort of stuff. Um, but now I finally have time to sit down and continue from where we left off yesterday. So we finished the draft and I had the zip pouch in there. Uh, I thought about it overnight and for the first um, final needle case that I'm going to make, I'm not going to include the zip pouch. I just don't, personally, I don't feel the need for it. But what I'm going to do is ask you guys if you would like a zip pouch like that in your case. And if uh, you would, then I might make a few uh, with the zip pouch and a few without. That way, uh, you know, if you're like me and you don't have anything to put in there, then you can just buy one without it and just avoid that extra bulk. But if you do have stuff to put in it, you're all set. So yeah, so first of first one, I'm not going to make it without uh, the uh, the zip, and I think for this video, I'll only show you the one that I make tonight. Otherwise, it'll be way too long. Uh, but yeah, I'll post about it on, on Instagram, and you can head over there as well to check the progress of it. And if I do manage to make enough, um, I will include it in the first shop update, which is. For the first launch which is the 15th of october all right that's a lot that's a lot of talking um we'll get into it I would uh, like spare you all the 
numbered slots so much more difficult to work out than I thought it would be but we figured it out um, so yeah so I finished the lining and there, there are the slots for the bigger needles I really hope it works once it all it's all sewn up but it should I've tried the needles in there and they fit really well um, but yeah oh my god like that was oh but we're there. We're, I mean, the thing, the other thing is that now I know, um, you know, if I have to make another one of this, I know uh, how much the distance is and all of that. So it's okay. So now all I have to do is join the two panels together, uh, turn them inside out, and then just put the bias tape all, o all around. So not long to go. Just the bias tape part will take a little bit of time, but we'll get there.
right day three and we're almost there uh, so I cut out the bias tape and I sort of have done the first stitch and put all the pins around um, so I'll show you it's all the pins they're looking yep so all I have to do now is just stitch all the way around and we'll be done binding it, it can be better I won't lie um, it's not it's not my best bias binding but but it's it's fine it's you know there are a few mistakes but overall it looks so good it looks exactly how I imagined it to be um, and I'm very happy with it so first I'll show you without the needles in it and then I'll show you with all of it full so this is it this is the case the wooden button bias tape um, open it and it opens up like that so you have all your pockets and everything um, sorry if you can see like little threads or anything I am going to clean that up but there we go so that's it and folds nicely into a compact pouch. Let's fill it up. I'm going to give it an eye in as well so that it sort of fits in place really well. And that is it. That's your st that's our stitch marker. <laughs> stitch marker. Oh my god. No. This is a knitting needle case. All right. So, this is it. Um it's all full. It is not as thick as I thought it would be, even with four circular, like fixed circulars and um, most of the needles in there. So that's it. Yeah. Open. And that's all there in there, tucked in nicely. All the notions down here, stitch markers. So there's one. Two, three, and then all of the interchangeable needles. Fold it. This is hard to do. Fold it like that. Fold it like that. And elastic shut. Yay! I'm very happy with this. Um, it is how I imagined it to be. Um, everything fits in really nicely. I really like the size of the pouch so I can just put this in my handbag or my project bag uh, without 
it taking up too much space. Um, I'll probably show you. So that's the one I'm currently using. Um, and the UK, so there's a project in there. And the UK is nice and tight. And it's all good. So it's, it's a vest, so it is a little big. Um, but yeah, it fits in really nicely. Whereas with the original case, um, yeah, I had to make room for it because it was quite big. Yeah, this is it. Um, now with the so when it comes to selling these, I um, I don't think I will be adding them to my first launch. I thought about it, but just the time it takes to make one. And with everything that I have to do, so like if you see behind me this pile, is everything I still have to sew, all these project bags, so there's a lot to do. Um, so I, d I don't think I will be... Um, yeah, including this in my first launch, but it definitely will work towards making the sewing process a bit more efficient, um, like time efficient, energy efficient, because yes, I did spend three days, you know, coming with this, coming up with this, so yeah, I just have to figure out how to make it, make it a bit easier um, to make more of these, and maybe in the November shop update, I might have a few to sell. So if you're interested, um, just watch the space, follow me on Instagram, you can follow the progress over there. I will be, like, I am a quite frequent poster, so you'll, you'll be aware of, you know, what, what, where I am uh, at with the process and um, when I plan to actually sell these. So yeah, I think that's it. I think it's been, yeah, quite a long vlog. I hope it when I edit it, it's not like two hours long, I don't think it will be. Most of, yeah, most of it is just, you know, me figuring out the process. Um, but I hope this has been interesting to watch. Thanks if you stuck through all the way to the end. And yeah, just follow along as I share more of my journey as I launch my first shop um, and beyond. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.